we're back in WordPress. So we're now going to add in our images. You go over to media on your dashboard and you click that. And if you've already got some preloaded images, you will see them over here, okay? But normally when you're doing a fresh installation, you'll probably have nothing visible on your website, okay? So what we're now going to do is we're going to click add new, okay? And we are now going to drop the images in. You can either drag them in from your hard drive or your desktop, or you can hit select files, go to the compressed folder or wherever it was, and just pull those images through, okay? So we are just going to add that in. There we go. And it's going to start adding those in one by one by one. OK. Now, what we also need to do is add in our logo. So we go back over here and we're just going to go up to downloads. And we're now going to add in these three images as well, which were the light bulb, the logos, basically. So that's now going to add in. So we got our black logo. We've got our square black logo. And this was the transparent one. Remember? We made a transparent version, white text. Look, can you see the transparent background? Excellent. And we got all of these images here. Ignore all of these. This is where I was testing out a template for someone. Right. Now that we've added in our images, we had two plugins that were going to help us make these even better quality in terms of optimization. We got the PNG to JPEG and then the image to WebP. In our media, both plugins are available. Let's go to PNG to JPEG. OK, I'm going to go to convert existing PNGs. This one here is already highlighted as transparent. OK, so I'm not going to pick that one. This is also classed as transparent. However, it is not transparent. But so I'm just going to tick that to optimize. I'm also going to optimize the black square. And I'm now going to optimize these images as well. You can, if you want, just tick the start, the, uh, the box here. You can also just say um, select all transparent and non-transparent, but sometimes the website or the WordPress or the plugin won't get it completely right. So just be cautious about what you are converting. Right. So there are all the images I'm now going to be converting and I'm now going to say convert. And what it will do is it will very quickly just run through them and it's going to convert them. I'll just pull myself there. And that's done it. Now let's go to our library. So now let me go to this image here. OK, this one is already 98 KB. It's not going to shrink down any further. This image here has had an extra 370 kilobytes shaved off. That means when it came in, it was about 830 odd kilobytes in size after it's been compressed in tiny PNG. It's now been almost halved because of PNG savings. And look, when you go over here, look, 600 kilobytes shaved off. That's nearly halved. That's taken off about a third and a bit. That's taken off a bit as well. Some of them won't be as dramatic, but look, that has shaved off a lot of images there. So that's the benefit of compressing tiny PNG, pull it over, and then do the PNG to JPEG, because it's like going from duh, duh, duh. Now we need to do the web. Um, conversion as well. Now, when you do this conversion, you can't go to buy library and see that. It doesn't actually show you what is saved, but this is quite important from a performance point of view. So I'm going to go to convert existing images, so uploads. So I'm going to convert everything in the upload. So find and convert all images. OK, now this might take um, five minutes or a minute, but just let it do its stuff. OK. Just go away, make yourself a bit of tea or something and just let it go through and convert all of those images into WebP. And once it's done, we're now ready to go back into our themes and add the logo to our site identity for the appearance in Hello.